Hey guys, welcome to part one of my brand new series, Making a Discord Pot in Python. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Lucas, buddy, <laughs> you already have a series on how to make a Discord bot in Python. W what is this? What, what are you doing here? What kind of trick is this? And to that, I'm gonna have to say, we are going to be using the rewrite branch of Discord PY. Now, for those of you who have no clue what the rewrite branch of Discord PY is, it's essentially the version that everyone is going to be using, you know, sooner rather than later, because it's the version that's kept up to date more often. Actually, the other one, the other version, which was the async version, so there's async and rewrite. Async uh, is no longer being kept up. It hasn't been, even at the time of making my old videos. And uh, rewrite is the one that is being updated. So rewrite is the place to go if you want the latest Discord bot features and the reason I'm making this series now instead of you know having made it in the first place is because one the when I first started to make Discord bots I learned how to use async where I was learning uh, how to use async um, but the actual reason is that the way that I originally installed the async branch now by default installs the rewrite branch so for those of you guys who watched my old series's first video you guys are going to have the rewrite branch on your PC, not the async branch, except you will be following an async tutorial. That will cause some problems. So I decided I would make this series, um, and then you guys will have a brand new series, you know, to sort of help you guys make your Discord bots. So for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about and just want to make a Discord bot, you're in the right place. Don't leave. I'll help you, I promise. And for those of you who do know what I'm talking about, even if you want to keep you know, using async, no harm in learning how to use a rewrite. And on that note, we are going to officially start um, with uh, making a Discord bot and rewrite. So let's bring over Google Chrome here. And as you can see, I have a couple of links open. The first two are just sort of resources. So the first one is the, uh, the GitHub page for Discord PY, as you can see here. Um, you'll need to have Python 3.5.3 or higher in order to use rewrite. Uh, this is important, obviously, because I don't know if it doesn't work or it will work and there will be errors. I don't know. But uh, just 3.53 or higher. I believe I'm using 3.65. Actually, I can check for you just now. Python version. Yeah, 3.65. So if you guys want to be perfectly exact, um, and use the exact same version of Python as me, 3.65, there you go. And, uh, but as you can see here, you know, it tells you how to install it, there's examples here, there's links here, such as the documentation, which I'm going to go over in a second, and a link to the official help server, which is also, vi or not the official help server per se, um, but you can get help there, um, but it's sort of their official Discord server where you can talk with them about the uh, Discord PY module, as well as, you know, get help. Um, I'll leave links to both of these in the description as well as the GitHub page itself. And uh, let's go over the documentation real quick. I can close this actually. Um, the documentation, for those of you who don't know, it's essentially where everything is outlined in terms of the Discord PY module. So as you can see here, this is uh, the documentation for version 1.0.1, which is the rewrite version. And uh, you can see here that right here, there is a migrating to version 1.0, which is, again, the rewrite version. So migrating in the sense that those of you coming from the async version or you know, my old YouTube series, if you want to learn how to use rewrite, just read through these files here. You know, If you don't care, then you can just jump right into it. And you might make a couple mistakes here and there, but you know, it can't hurt to sort of go through this, right? I went through it, it's not so bad. But yeah, documentation, very important. So we can close that down too. So now let's actually uh, create the bot. Right. So first of all, we need to create a, a uh, an application, a bot application. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Discord website, the uh, homepage, discordapp.com, and we are going to go to this Developers tab here, hover over it, and click on Developer Portal. All right. So as you can see, there's my one application here. This is my my personal bot that I have running in my help server. Well running is kind of a stretch, but uh, my bot that I have in the help server doesn't do much. But either way, we're going to be creating our own application by obviously, as you can see there, clicking new application. So 
The name here is going to be the name of your bot. I'm not entirely sure if you can change it, but uh, I'm just gonna call it YouTube bot. Create, okay, yeah, it looks like you can change it here. But um, this is essentially the application that you're going to be controlling with your code, all right? So this is an application. It's not a bot application just yet. We need to turn it into one. So as you can see on this left, left hand side right here under settings, we are going to click on bot and we are going to click on add bot. Yes, do it. And a while bot has appeared. So now our application has become a bot application. All right. So we have done everything we need to do here, at least for now. We'll come back to this page later when we invite the bot to a server but uh, we can leave this alone for now. So let me, uh, no, not Discord. We can go into code. Actually, we can't go into code. I just remembered. We have to install Discord UI. So go to your command prompt. You can just type CMD and uh, you'll get into your command prompt right here. You're just gonna type the command, quite simple, pip, P-I-P, install discord.py. Just hit enter. As you can see here, it says requirement already satisfied because I personally already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, you know, it'll install it. If you do have it installed, you should have something that looks like this requirement already satisfied. All right. But now you'll have it installed. As you can see here, you know, I have version 1.0.1, .1, which is the version that uh, was outlined in the documentation here. All right. So now we can write our code. All right, I was jumping around a little bit too much. So this is all gonna be very straightforward. Um, if you don't understand what's happening just yet, uh, you know, I'll try to explain it as best as I can, but things like the events that we're gonna create, we're gonna create one event in uh, this video and it's uh, a very simple one. But if you don't know what an event is or how we're creating it or, or sort of what's going on with that code, don't worry about it. I'm gonna have a video on events. You'll understand what events are, the different ones you can create, things like that in that video. In this video, it's just a matter of make sure you have the code that I have or your bot may not work properly. All right? So this is very basic stuff. Every bot in the world is going to have code very similar very similar to this. I'm stuttering too much. Anyways, so we're going to import Discord. That is the first thing we're going to do. Oh, and for those of you who don't know what I did, I I just have a uh, bot.py file open in Atom. So just open a Python file and start typing. That's all I did, except I already had it open. So import Discord, obviously very important. We just downloaded the module because we need to use it. So import that. Then we are going to say from discord.ext. So discord.ext, that stands for uh, extension, presumably. Uh, import command. Commands, plural, sorry. I don't know if I uh, enunciated the S properly. And uh, this is going to be very important, obviously, as you can tell, when we create commands. Um, but we will make use of this right now when we create our bot instance, which is actually what we're going to do next. But uh, for those of you guys who, uh, you know, maybe you're thinking, okay, why do, why do I need this line? I don't know why. I've, I've seen other videos where I only just needed import Discord or someone only told me I needed import Discord. Trust me, this is important. All right? Make sure you have it. All of these lines are very important. So we're going to have, we're next going to have uh, a client variable, and we are going to set that equal to commands dot bot. All right. So as you can see, we're making good use of that second line right there, the uh, commands extension. And uh, in the parentheses here, we are going to set a command prefix. Now again, we're not going to be creating commands in this video. We will in later videos, but we need to set a command prefix. So we're going to do that now. So command underscore prefix, and we are going to essentially set it equal to a string representing that prefix. So I personally like to use a little dot or a period uh, just because it's quick to type. You know, it's right next to the uh, forward slash, which is sort of the standard prefix for a command. So, you know, it's just my, uh, my personal favorite. You can have it set to anything you want, as far as I'm concerned. So we have our uh, instance of a bot created. We now are going to add on our very first event. All right, so we're going to say at client.event, and this is going to be a function decorator, denoting that the, the uh, function is going to represent an event. And we are going to say async, because it's an asynchronous function, async def on ready. So the on ready function essentially 
how do I explain it? It's just when the bot is ready, when it's got all the information it needs from Discord, the bot is has, puts itself into like a ready state. And when it's ready, you know, everything's running smoothly and uh, you know, everything's working nicely, I should say. So, you know, I don't expect you to understand perfectly what OnReady does. It's a pretty common first event to create and you can read through the docs to understand what it does um, in depth. I'm probably not the best person to explain what it does, but uh, it's all it's all there in the documentation. And this is just the first event we're going to have, just so you know that things are working. It's not gonna be a very extensive bot, it's just a functional bot kind of thing, right? So when the bot is ready, we're just going to say print um, bot is ready. I don't know, just something straightforward so that we know, you know, this event triggered kind of thing and the bot's doing something. And the last line we need is client.run. So obviously, you know, we've created our client here. We've given it an event to uh, sort of look for, and then we need to run the client itself, right? So inside of these parentheses here, we need to use our bots token. So what token, token am I referring to? If you go back to this page, the uh, developer page, you can see here it says token. Now, what is a token? A token is essentially just a little, um, a little code that links your bot, or sorry, that links your code to an application so that the code can manipulate the application. Now, this token is very important because like I said, the token um, connects, the, connects the code to an application, meaning that if someone else has your token, they can control your application with their code and that can be problematic, you know, they can ban people and servers, they can spam people, they can do a lot of malicious things um, in servers that you may or may not want, right? So more often than not, it's better to keep your token to yourself or, you know, um, to a small group of people, probably the people that maybe you're working on a bot with, etc. You know, if you're doing it on your own, keep it to yourself. There, there's, there's really no benefit um, to other people knowing, and you know, there are some downsides, right? So keep it to yourself. Um, but I'm gonna copy my token here. You're going to see my token because I need to show you how to use it in the code. And uh, I can always regenerate it if I have to. But uh, I'm just going to paste in the token here as a string into client.run. So the run method here uh, on client, we're just passing in the token, all right? So let's go over what we have here. We've imported Discord. We've uh, imported the commands extension. We've created an instance of a bot and set it to our client variable. We've then made our very first event. Again, I don't expect you guys to understand what an event is just yet, but we've created one and then we are running our bot using uh, its token. All right, so now before we run the bot, before we run the bot, we're going to head back to this page and on the left here, we are going to go to this OAuth2 section right here, all right? And it's essentially this, or sorry, this section is just going to give us a link of which we can use to get into our Discord, or to get the bot into our Discord server, all right? So we're just gonna scroll down here to these little check boxes, and we're going to click the bot checkbox, all right? Now, you can give the bot some additional, per or not additional permissions, but you can give the bot permissions that it will have upon joining the server. Uh, I personally just like to give it administrator just because administrators can do everything and I don't have to go through each permission individually. But if you want the bot to only have, you know, a certain amount of permissions, you can go through each one and just check it off. And that's if you don't want to give it administrator permissions. Excuse me. So now that we've given the bot administrator permissions, we've now got a modified link, which we can copy and paste into our uh, browser. And as you can see, we're just connecting our bot to Discord, AKA inviting the bot to our server. I have a test server that I've set up here and I'm going to just give the bot administrator permissions again, as I've sort of requested uh, with this link and uh, authorize it. I'm not a robot, I'm pretty sure. You know, I just burped. So uh, authorized, as you can see here. So if we go into our Discord, as you can see here, YouTube bot has spawned in the server. However, it is offline. Now, if we go back into Atom, or you know, maybe you guys are using Idle, whatever, uh, and we run the file, as you can see here, we get a run window, and bot is ready. And if we look at Discord, the bot is online. So essentially, we just have a bot Okay, I'm just trying to move these around. Uh, we have a bot that essentially checks 
if it's ready, and if it is ready, it tells us. That's all the bot does at this point. So again, I'm just making a bot that works. It doesn't do anything crazy or fancy or even, you know, it doesn't have commands. It doesn't have like fun games built in, right? This is just to get your very first bot up and running, get your foot in the door. And that's what we've done. We've got a bot that checks if it's ready. And, uh, you know, it goes, on, goes online in a server and we're able to control it with a Python script here. So that's essentially it for the first video. So yeah, actually, I already said that. That's, that's it for this first video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for, you know, the rest of the series. And if I make uh, more series on, you know, some cool stuff in the future, I don't know if it'll be Discord or Python related necessarily, but, you know, maybe I'll make another series on something cool eventually. Um, but uh, you can subscribe, comment below on, uh, or comment below and tell me the uh, types of videos you would like to see. I'm thinking I will uh, obviously redo the videos that I did in my old series, but I can always do new ones as well, especially now that I'm I'm sort of restarting this and sort of getting back into making videos. That Python series where I taught beginner Python was so incredibly boring, so sorry for the slow uploads, but hopefully this will be a bit better. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, bye.